it was very like I wasn't expecting this to happen, but yeah, I just went with it, did as best as I could. But like at the end of the day, I see it as a learning experience. What was your best moment last year? Um, probably Clemson game because yeah. I felt I played way more than I thought I was, and like I did good, but I didn't do as good as I wanted to. I felt like I really improved that game. What was the worst moment where you were just like, oh, I don't know, I know what I'm, what I'm doing right now? The worst game was probably Florida. Yeah. Um, and like the games that we played, like little schools like Akron, like I didn't do so good. Like I didn't have no type of stats. And I know this season coming up, I have to have some type of stat, stats every game. What was it like going through the Georgia game where it's your second game on campus and you got that offensive line on the other side? Uh, that right there was not fair at all, but life <laughs> isn't fair. So, I mean, this season coming up, you got two SEC teams, two big time SEC teams, Alabama, Georgia. At the end of the day, I chose to play in the SEC, so I have to deal with that. Is, is there anything that can kind of mentally prepare a person for that kind of jump from, you know, high school to that, or is that something you just, you gotta experience, you gotta go through? You gotta experience, you gotta, you, you gotta go through it. Like, like <laughs> you gotta go through it, honestly. Like, you're not, you're going to get thrown on your butt. Like, no matter how good you are, it's going to happen to you one day. What are your expectations for Saturday in the spring game? How much do you think you'll play? What do you expect out of yourself? I expect to show the South Carolina fans what they're waiting to see in August, September. Which is what? Uh, that <laughs> we're at seven, and, seven and six, whatever we had was not okay. It's going to be better than that. Rick, was there an older teammate last year that you really stuck to, that you maybe learned from the most? Um, Kobe Smith. He was my roommate whenever we traveled, and that's the person that, like, they say I act like him, so I just learned all my stuff from him. What do you really take from his game? What, what have you been able to learn from him? Uh, pretty much, like, he coached, like, whenever I'm out in the field with him, he tells me what I have to do. Like, last year, I didn't know much, so whenever I was practicing with him, he would tell me what I had to do, and then, like, whenever we had, like, Whenever we roomed up together at hotels, he would like, like whenever we had our test, he would help me with it and tell me what we had to do or something like that. What was the biggest thing you kind of tried to work on going through this off season? Um, probably getting more flexible, coming out my hips more, um, my pad level, my strength, and my mindset really. What's it been like with Coach Scott this this spring? Oh, um, he's been very good. Like he, I've learned a lot from him. Um. I've gained a connection with him. Um, it's like, I don't have nothing really bad to say about him. Like, he's a really good coach and he knows what he's talking about. What does he bring to the table that's maybe different from what you've learned in the past? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like it, does, like, it doesn't feel weird at all. Like, when I met a T, it, it wasn't that weird. Like, it wasn't weird Get used to him. Like, I don't know. I just got used to him. After going through a spring practice with this building, how different is life having all the stuff right there as compared to what it used to be? It's very reasonable. Like, you don't have to, like, do that long walk to go to practice. Like, you can legit get your stuff ready, come in here, and not make that long walk. It's, like, reasonable. Is it kind of crazy that the, ne the next group of, I guess the, the current group of freshmen that have come in won't, won't know that walk at all? Well, I look you miss it. <laughs> I, miss, I miss being at the stadium, but, like, yeah, I miss it. That's what they won't know. Like, it's actually, you actually will miss it. You mentioned the word learning a lot. Was there a point during last season when the learning turned into, okay, I got this, I can play at this level? Was there a, was there a turning point there? Yeah, I've also, I, I felt like I got that turning point during spring. Like, during spring, I started off kind of slow, but like, towards now, I've been getting way better. I've been getting more reps whenever they, Whenever Coach Mushchumps mentions the like effort of the day and stuff like that, my name's being called more. Um, I'm just like, it's gonna be a like I'm gonna be a different person this season coming up, really. What type of strides have you made in the weight room side of things now that you've been in the program for a while? Um, what do you mean like getting stronger? Or yeah, like, do you feel stronger? You yeah, feel like I feel like I've been getting stronger. Body type a bit? Coach Campbell has did everything right to get us as a D line stronger. Have you taken on a role in helping kind of guide Zach and, and Joseph kind of into this program a little bit? Yeah, you got to. You got to. Like, I came in last year and I needed someone to help me. So, at the end of the day, like, after I have my freshman year, I got to help the people that come in. What have those guys kind of shown you through, through 